run away from who you are. So whenever I play or write something, the whole of me has to be there. So if I'm improvising, I'm the same person that's pissed off about what's going on in this country. Mm. I may play something pretty, but it still comes from the core of wherever I am personally at this particular moment. And a lot of the conversations that we've had were about things going on in the world. Mm. And I felt a certain kind of kindred thought on a lot of issues. And the music is about social justice. Calling the band Social Science lets us talk about a wide variety of things that we want to talk about. Equal opportunity, you know, equal access to wealth, education, lots of different issues that we are noticing and dealing with in the world today. One of the pieces on the record called No Justice was a difficult one. In the end, the magic came from Michelle and Deggio Cello speaking about Asada Shakur, who was a political prisoner in exile. She remains a symbol of freedom. She's more than a mother and a wife. She's a warrior. Various political prisoners are sampled on that song. In reaching out to get clearance of using Mumia Abu Jamal's voice, the prison that he's incarcerated in, he wanted $200 for a license fee. So he said, I'll just record it for you over the phone so that you don't pay the prison. That in itself was an act of resistance. Hmm. And he closes the record as if he's the DJ playing the song on the air. You're listening to Terry Lynn Carrington and Social Science, communicating comments, thoughts, and prayers by the captive ones, political prisoners in case. This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Second disc is a free improvisation featuring the three of us and Esperanza Spalding. And my goal with that was to just go in the studio and play for an hour without stopping, with no direction, okay. and not do it twice. Yeah. People are so used to hearing messages only verbally that there's not enough room left for the imagination. I think one of the things with this project is, yes, there's many things that we're protesting and that we are against, but there's also things that we're for. The idea of leaving room for each other, letting people take the lead, listening to each other, and creating something together. That's democracy in action. Everybody's journey to activism is different, and it took me until nearly 50 years old <laughs> to decide I needed to really stand for something. As far as young musicians and young artists, they have to really look at something that they feel strongly about. It could be something small. It doesn't have to heal the world, conquer the world in a, in a big way and start writing about that. And at some point, maybe your activism really grows and matures. And so it will reflect in your music.